welcome back to my channel. It is Dina here. If you are new, welcome. Today I'm going to be talking about my tips on how to become an avid breeder because I never was until recently. So if you guys are interested in these tips, make sure you keep watching. So my first tip for you guys is to tell your friends that you want to start reading. Not only does this hold you accountable, but they may actually have some really good book recommendations to give you. And let me tell you, book recommendations are everything once you're getting started because it's intimidating to know exactly where to start and what books can actually be enjoyable for you. And along with that, you have to make sure you know what kind of genre you're interested in reading. This is a big problem for me in the past is I chose books that left me so Bored. They would not hold my attention and I had a really tough time reading. Reading was almost like a chore because I didn't enjoy what I was reading. So finding what kind of books that you enjoy reading is a must when it comes to becoming a reader. My other tip for you is if you have a hard time sticking to reading, try to schedule a specific amount of pages or a chapter to read each day. This gives you a little bit of a goal to achieve and it makes it less daunting to read the book when you just have a small amount to read each day. If you're someone who feels like you don't have enough time to read, you probably do. <laughs> Most of us do have time to read, we just don't make time to read, and instead we fill our time up with other things that we don't necessarily need to do, like watch TV for hours, or hang out on social media. If you just cut that time a little bit, I bet you have time to read a chapter a day. My next tip for you is to figure out which time a day works best for you to read. If you're reading right before bed, you might be tired. Honestly, some people have a really hard time reading right before bed. My mom is one of those people. She tends to fall asleep. Reading makes her really relaxed. So reading in the morning might be a better thing. Um, if you don't have time to read in the morning because you got to go to work, maybe reading while you're eating lunch is a good option or reading just right after dinner. Finding that time to read that works best for you where you're most engaged. You don't have to worry about having to get something done that would be the ideal time to read. So schedule a specific time of day. You may have to try out a few different times in the day to see what actually works for you. But once you do, then I would definitely stick to that schedule. My next tip for you is if you really don't like the book you're reading, don't feel like you have to finish it. And this is something that I wish someone told me. And I think just being a perfectionist and being, I don't even know, I, I'm one of those people that I feel like I have to finish everything. And that's just a general statement. Like once I start something, I need to finish it. It's really, really weird. But anyways, if you're forcing yourself to finish a book that you really, really don't like, that's gonna discourage you from reading. And it's gonna be wasting your time because you could be reading a book that you really enjoy. You're just gonna end up reading the book but not actually absorbing anything and wasting your time or just not picking the book up ever because you're dreading reading it and then you don't actually end up reading something you enjoy so if you are reading a book you really really don't like make sure you just put it down donate it give it away and get a book that you really do enjoy my next tip for you is if you don't have money to buy books that is okay there's so many ways you can get books that doesn't cost a lot of money get a library card borrow a book from a friend Go to a secondhand bookstore. There's books that are super cheap there. There's always ways to read books that doesn't cost a lot of money. So don't worry about that. There's definitely a lot of options for you out there. Anyways, guys, I hope those tips helped you. I hope I inspired you to read something. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, subscribe to my channel because I put new videos up every Mondays and Thursdays. And also, click that bell notification just to let you know when I've uploaded. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Take care. Bye-bye.